Old Faithful goes off every, I think, 90 minutes. And you can check at the ranger station to get an estimate of what time it's going to go off. So, it should be sprouting in about five minutes. So, I made perfect timing. I'm so happy I got a chance to see Old Faithful when I came here the first time a few years ago. I didn't get a chance to see it. I started on the south rim and then I went east, north, and by the time I came to the west side, um, it was starting to get dark and I had to head back to the campground. But I got to see it and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I just left Old Faithful and I'm going to continue on to West Thumb all the way to the east side of the park. I'm not sure what I'm going to explore on the east side of the park. We'll just have to see um, what's there along the way. There are a few things that I do want to explore on the northwest side of the park. So when I came in, I came in here west entrance and then down to Old Faithful. And then I'm looping back around to here. And I explored this section this morning. And you guys will see that on day two. Isn't it beautiful? I love how green everything is. And I see a few geysers off the side of the road. Let's see where we at. Over here sprouting up okay. guys the weather is perfect today <laughs> it is august 61 degrees out i think the high for today is 70. okay so it's just one big loop so we'll go here and then all the way around here so i'm headed to the west geyser basin guys smell like rotten eggs which is sulfur can you hear that sound you can hear it bubbling it's this one here can you see that bubbling one of the world's largest active volcanoes lies beneath yellowstone national park this land of wonder became the first national park in the world on march 1st 1872 protected for all to enjoy its unique hydrothermal and geologic wonders Yellowstone is known for its diversity in animals and geothermal boiling mud pots, erupting geysers, and vividly colored hot springs, waterfalls that cascade down rocky mountainside, creating beautiful rivers and streams. Bubbling, steaming, and churning within Yellowstone's caldera are thousands of mud pots and hot springs that make Yellowstone National Park one big cooking pot. This one is bubbling. This one is called uh, Collapsing Spring. This one here is Percolating Spring. <laughs> Can you hear that? That's hot. Thumb geyser. Ooh. That one's bubbling. Oof, oof, oof. Now these down here, they smell. They smell really bad. Wow. Ooh, look at this little one. Oh, this is a small prismatic pool. 
guys see that? There's a different angle. You can see a little bit better. I am loving all of this. <laughs> like it's beautiful. Alright. Look how clear that water is. Wow. This one is called Big Cone. Let me zoom in. Can you guys hear that? We're headed back up to the top. See you there. If you complete the whole loop, it's about a mile. I highly recommend it. It's a scenic mile. Good exercise. Yellowstone Lake is the largest freshwater lake above sea level in North America. Over 7,000 feet with its greatest depth at 395 feet. Below its calm waters lie hot springs and small craters. The landscape around the lake is spectacular. Pristine waters surrounded by forests and valleys. Wildlife in abundance roaming about. I'm gonna enjoy my snack and then get back on the road. I am loving this view. I love it, love it. I wasn't planning on climbing up or downstairs today. I didn't wrap up my knees. So hope they don't start hurting. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm headed to after I leave here I think the next stop Mud Volcano or uh, Grand Canyon of the West or Yellowstone Grand Canyon. I can't remember the name of it. It's amazing that the water is not sweeping them away. Look how beautiful those flowers are. They are very beautiful. I love the pink ones. We're at Mud Volcano, and it smells horrible. Uh -huh. You guys are lucky you can't smell this. Man, the odor is pungent. Let's 
see where I can get my wheels into. Here we go. I honestly don't know if I can take the smell. <laughs> mm. I'm really having second thoughts about keep going. What do you guys think? Mm. I hear you. Let's go check it out, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. I heard you. Because you don't have to smell it. <laughs> you don't have to smell the sulfur that smells like rotten eggs. Let's do this. Taking one for the team. Man, it stinks. This is going to be a quick tour. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the loop up and around, <laughs> and that's it. The smell is horrible. Oh, I thought I saw some bison. I don't know where they went. I sat in the van when I pulled up for about 10 minutes trying to decide if I wanted to get out or not. There's the bison. Can you see it up there? Right there. I see why they call it dragon. You hear it? Stinky, stinky, stinky. <laughs> Second one for the team. Stinky, stinky. <laughs> The sulfur cauldron sits on the edge of one of the most active areas of Yellowstone's buried volcano. The sulfur here is 10 times more acidic than lemon juice. Incredibly, this muddy pool is teeming with life, home sweet home to billions of thermal city fillies that thrive here. Standing inside the caldera of one of the largest volcanoes in the world is an indescribable experience. The volcano erupted at least three times, dating back to over a million years ago. Today, Yellowstone is full of signs that volcanic activity is still very much alive below ground. This is Hayden Valley. And I see some bison. You guys see those bison? get any parking close to the bison. So I'm gonna pass. Keep on going. Here's some bison right off the road. <laughs>
one that flew in here. There's one up on the hill. Buffalo. I'm not going out there. They would not be chasing me. No, thank you. to go. I am pooped. It's been a fun day. I've had lots of fun. Time to head back to the campground. I say that until I see something else I want to stop and explore. But that's where I'm headed is to the campground. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. Always a pleasure bringing you guys along on my little adventures. I will be back tomorrow. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to the Tetons the day after. I think I am. We shall see. Okay, I haven't made it to the Upper Falls yet. I don't know if you can see those people, but I think it's straight, straight up that hill. I'm not doing it today. Not today. I'm going to walk down here and see if I can see it. Hopefully I can. All right, I'm almost there. Look like I need to go down one more level. One more level. That's a beautiful view. not plan on climbing up and down any more stairs today. I usually strap my knees down and I didn't. Yeah. Oh man, it's beautiful. Beautiful.
we're going back to the campground. <laughs> it started raining. So back to the campground I go. I'm done exploring for today. I wanted to cook some ribs and macaroni and cheese. I've been having a taste for ribs for quite some time. But I've got to thaw them out. I could have easily threw them up in a crock pot, but with them being frozen, it'll take longer to cook. I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight because I don't have anything thought out. Nothing. I don't know. I'm glad it's raining. My van needed that good cleaning. And I couldn't find a, uh, a blue beacon. Car wash to take it to you. So, this works. Get all the dirt off of it that I got down off in uh, southern Wyoming. Back in Montana. <laughs> wanted to do a tour of this KOA but it's raining so I'm not going to get out and it's my last night here I'm checking out in the morning or I'm leaving in the morning around 5 a.m. to get back to the park but I know that's the bathhouse here and my site is over here somewhere I can't remember which row to one of these. It may be over one. I think I'm going down the wrong road. Could be, very well be going down the wrong road. Let's see. This is my spot here. 228. It look like I am going the wrong way. Yep, 228. 